Okay, so in the last few years, food trucks have been a hit all over the streets everywhere, but today we have an original food truck at our home. Uh, Brian and Karen Jones will tell us about this authentic chuck wagon from the 1800s and the cooking cowboy style. Mmm, it smells good. Everything on here is authentic. Yeah. It's from the 1800s. I took a little walk around there before, and er it's just, where's my, that little knife? Where did it go? Look at this. Yeah. Isn't this incredible? Look at this knife. This is yeah. great. What is this? Where does this date back to? How far back? 1870s. 1870s. Wow. This is an original one. Yes. yes. This wagon was originally built by the Studebaker Company to haul freight, and it was built in the 1870s. It has been verified by the Studebaker Museum back in uh -huh. Indiana. It was offered to my husband over 25 years ago. He restored the wagon, and it's been a working chuck wagon ever since. And why the red wheels? Yeah. Just to spruce it up and give it a little bit of flavor? Well, the red wheels will kind of help hold the oils of the natural oil of the wood in, and it helps keep the, the spokes a little tighter in the hubs. The red, the red actual the, the dye red or oil, paint? Yeah, the oil red oils. Oh, yeah. okay. These are the original colors when Studebaker made the wagon. Mm -hmm. It was a green box with red wheels. So when he restored it, he made it just the way it was and would have been. So was this originally a place where you just did, oh, cooking, oh, sorry, yeah. the oh, so horsey, so yeah, also came right out. Here. Yeah. So this is uh, where you did the cooking, where you're gonna make these fabulous biscuits that you have cooking this, over here. This is my kitchen. All right. And normally I don't allow women into it, but I'm making exceptions yeah. for y'all today. <laughs> All right, okay. take, take us through a little bit of what, we, what we're gonna see here. Well, today I'm just gonna make uh, my buddy Phil's great-grandmother's sage biscuits with the help of Don Edwards buttermilk biscuits uh -huh. and I've already got my flour mixed in my sifter I'm adding some sage to it gonna sprinkle in a little sugar on top mm. ooh, 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 already ooh. look at that so don't you feel left out you're not supposed to be baking here. soda <laughs> <laughs> four tablespoons of baking powder this is what guys used to do when yeah. we run around. You're always like, what are you guys doing? We're not allowed in there. We're making biscuits. I wonder how it all got turned around. You can tell my accurate measurements. And then yeah. just for That's good a lot measure, of baking powder. <laughs> I'm going to add a little yeast to it. Oh, yeast. Mm. And then you just whirl away, whirl away, whirl away. And then Look at that authentic little sifter over that, there, too. Boy, everything on here seems so, you know, and authentic and um, real. And years of collecting. Is it? When we do check wagon competitions, everything has to be and very correct. We had the cow, but she had to go to another casting call. <laughs> we had some buttermilk. Ooh, Ooh buttermilk. Look at that. Look at that. Mm -mm. It's interesting that you use that much baking powder and the yeast, at, at raw yeast like that. Does it have That's to really proof it all? Do you have to let it rise? Or you just, no? Not really. Okay. You can, and then just a little spring water, about a half a cup of spring water. And my favorite, two pinches of salt. All Not right. Three, two. Two. two, 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 yes. And then you'll whoop it up into a good, good batter. It's gonna be nice to and sit around the campfire and eat it. No, you can't be here. Remember, oh. it's all guys. But I can be the campfire. Yeah, she could be yeah. our official food tester. She, oh, Ooh. she's good well, at that. Well, what else do she you have good. cooking up there? We have biscuits, and what else do we have well, on the we've fire got over some here? Beans, and I've kind of picked through these pot, this pot of beans here to kind of show y'all what mm -hmm. kind of things you have to look for. I don't like broken beans, I don't like black beans, and I don't like rocks in my beans. <laughs> <laughs> and we do only use 239 beans in any pot. Man, you, where did that number come from? Well, if you add that extra one, then you have two farty. Oh, uh -huh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I so set myself up for that one. <laughs> and of course, right. now we're done, we're ready. We just throw a little flour on the, on the chuck table. Are you gonna knead it now? No, I ma'am, I don't need anything. I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. And what I do is I just roll it a couple times, add a little bit to my hand. You want to get in here? Yeah. Mm. Is this a is this an authentic cast iron That's, skillet too? It's not too? warmed up here. You go here's no, a little okay. fire for you. Oh, hand. thank you. All right. And I just throw some on here and roll it around and roll it into a nice ball. There All she right. goes. You're breaking the law right oh, now. Am I Women aren't the law? supposed to be oh, doing all right. it. Okay, I need a little more flour. Bring it back into a nice little ball. I need a little more fire. It's a little sticky. I mean, flour. So all right. right Did women back there have blue nails like I do? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> if it was cold. Okay. okay. So is that is that? That's perfect. Now. All right. Now sometimes I'll roll biscuit. it out with the flour with a with a rolling pin, mm -hmm. but I like just to, to pat mine down. And be quiet back there. <laughs> I like raw dough. So as we're doing this, about two minutes left. Uh, we've got the bean. What, we've got Man. something cooking here. This is an old. What is this? An outdoor, outdoor mm. 
pit you've got here, right? It's kind of like that. In Kansas, you'll find uh, the chuck wagons used to use old car hoods back in the early 1900s. Uh, we built these boxes to protect the campfire from the wind for obvious reasons. Yeah. Very windy. Look how beautiful that is. Kind of hard to have a fire. Those cooks just cooked straight in the ground. Just a small, they all they needed just was like the coals from the, the wood, not fire. What is that nice piece of meat well, on there? Well, I've that cooked is... up some tri-tip. We're going to sample that here in a little bit. Uh -huh. And the beans, And I've got too. a and pot of beans that have been cooking. And we have all this stuff on the on our website if you want to see the, the recipe and everything that we've done. And um, I see you took the scraps that were left over in your beer. Yes, ma'am. We're not done keep with making the scraps yet. Yeah. Another ball and pop them in there. So after this is all filled, do you put them into? What, well, what, what I'll do when I'm done, this is called a Dutch oven. The Dutch uh -huh. oven has three legs on a bottom and the lid has okay. a, a lip for it. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to get down to this is I call my favorite biscuit because it's the last one. Okay. <laughs> and then we'll put that down. Then you'll put coals underneath on the ground, then you'll put coals up on top, and it gets just like your oven at home. It's why they're called a Dutch oven. Now and we have one over here that's already done. Can we yes, see what's in there? Throw this one. All right. Down here, get it ready. Let's shift this one up. Okay, let's take a Come. look at this. This is great. Look at this. These were just done. Aww. Look at that. That's amazing. Yeah. Got to get some of it. out of here. That's beautiful. Get a couple mm -hmm. good ones there, nice and big and fluffy. Can Look we get some that. beans too? And if you like the beans there. going in there, or are we just yeah, going to do there? Yeah, yeah, we have, have to get some butter. Right here. <sighs> yum, that. yum. Oh. Yeah. Is it hot? I just want to go back to the. I want to go back to the Wild West now. I'm just going to walk down the street. Let's get some beans. I'm Look, Mark. Ooh, we have some beans too. Come on, please have some. Okay. All right, well, thank Brian and Karen, by the way. You can go, uh, visit Calico in Ghost Town. They have numerous festivals coming up, um, annual festivals celebrating the Civil War, and that's coming up in the month of February. They also have cook-offs as well. I'm going to get some beans over here. Up next, though, I'm going to save my appetite because it's time for a little pie-eating contest. Grady Miller is here, and he's going to show us some good skills that we need, and then we're going to go head-to-head. -head. Yeah, hot. they Look are hot. That. Don't go away, okay? Beautiful. Mm. 